We've had the ability to 3D print uh, plastic, potentially other uh, materials that are already on different planets, uh, food, but now we have something that is another way useful, printing human skin. It's real. So this came from, uh, oh, yeah, it is kind of gross. Yeah, it's but... a little bit both. <laughs> the, the front line of this is the best. It's like, yeah, maybe technology at its coolest or grossest. Um, scientists have found a way to be able to bioprint uh, different com components that would comprise a version of printed human skin. Uh, the basis of this is human plasma, mm -hmm. which would be more of the scaffolding that we would build the rest of this on. Um, this comes from scientists in Madrid, in particular uh, Juan Francisco del Canizo, a surgeon at Madrid's Hospital General, oh, that should be pronounced in Spanish, Universitario Gregorio Manon. Please forgive my terrible <laughs> Spanish pronunciation. I do not know how to speak Spanish. Um, so it was an automated process, and you would have to mix different biological components together in order for this to create uh, a, a similar situation that you would be able to find on a human body. So uh, it works in three different layers, the outer epidermal layer, uh, the thick middle layer, and the bottom layer, which is producing collagen at the, at the, the base of this. And this would be able to make the skin very versatile, uh, stretchy, strong, much like human skin itself. And this isn't for projects like we talked about long ago, where some books may or may not have been uh, bound in human skin from the tortured and executed, but rather a biological way to produce skin that can help us in different ways, be it surgically, we could, this could mean a lot uh, yeah. for people who've suffered from burns and would need a graft, or even for in research when we're um, working on different experiments but not wanting to do anything ethically compromising to a living being. Yeah, and that, that was what I was going to piggyback on, the two best things that I imagine coming from this is to be able to help those that have suffered horrific burns and need skin grafts, and this can be a way to try and provide some sense of normality back to the, their bodies after a tragic instance that has happened. And then the second point is, uh, as it stated at the bottom part of the article, animal advocates see the skin as a chance to put an end to cosmetic companies that we still... Oh, you mean modern, animal they, testing? Yeah, exactly. Well, they basically are animal testing, which relies on other relies on rabbits, guinea pigs, mice, like all these. I I don't know why I made a different face when it came to mice, because in my head I just say it like rabbits, guinea pigs, but I'm not a big fan of mice. Fan but of mice. still, I don't want to see any animal put through any sort of uh, process that is going to harm them to the point where. Uh, like regardless of my own preferences, I just watched a video recently that nearly made me cry about a cow being separated from its mother, even though I will drink milk every single day in my life. It doesn't mean that I can't be sympathetic towards the treatment of that. So uh, regardless, it's like if they're surrogates for the human skin, this can actually uh, help and prevent any of these extremities that people go through to try and test something like this in order to, to go forward and evolve science. So uh, I'm with it. Mm -hmm. as always, um, and I think if anything that's going to help um, push us forward with things like this where we can start to, in a way, whether you mentioned like 3D printing of body parts to the point where we can try and provide, I know we've came so far forward with uh, biomechanical arms to help people that have lost limbs, like if you can do stuff like this to help the aesthetic of someone who's been damaged, mm -hmm. count my vote. Sure, I mean we can print like human jaw bones, yeah. uh, cardiac stents, uh, there's a lot of uh, potential in the medical industry for printing technologies like this. Uh, they are different technologies. The good thing about being able to uh, help a burn victim is that you could use their own plasma in the creation of this printing, which um, I mean, a, a major uh, obstruction to uh, skin grafts is that the body will reject the skin if yep. it's your own cells that severely reduces, if not eliminates, that chance. So that is, um, would help ease a lot of pain and suffering at the very least. Um, so there is, there is actually some interest in bringing this bio skin printer to a major market coming from bioengineering firm uh, Biodan Group. So it could happen in a hospital near you, perhaps. It's not quite there yet. Like most new technologies we talk about, it's it's not ready for uh, mass consumption do just you, yet. Do you think, though, that deep down this is all just another 
evolving process to creating hosts from Westworld? Um, we can only dream and hope because uh, that show was fun. But it was I great. don't like the <laughs> I know that Andrew, I don't I know like that, the options it presents for us humans. I know it's if you don't want it if you haven't watched the show yet it it, it doesn't I mean the, well, this is just forming the exterior it's not forming the artificial uh, yeah, they still conscious got those metal yet guts. But, yeah they still have the metal guts but, but <laughs> the, the consciousness is a whole separate issue so this is just yeah we might be able to form the aesthetic of someone but will they be able to really act as a human being? Watch the show, shameless plug for Westwood, uh, Westwood, <laughs> Westworld, not like they need it because it was a yeah, remarkable Yeah, they're doing show. fine, Francis. I think they're doing fine without They don't our, really our plug. need our plug. But they, every plug counts, especially when you have Anthony Hopkins in the show. Sure. Um, but back to 3D printing skin. <laughs> Audience, would you like to see more uh, research and development in the field of medical printing or bioprinting for medical purposes. Please let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.